that this combination has taken out the Johns brothers several times this season with the way Gabe plays the right side. Pinch is heavy to the middle. Blank in the middle, and that creates the opening and the ball to drop to the baseline. Uh, Two-handed speed up off the bounce from Andre, and he's ready on the next. Very nice combination from the big man. Natowich was on it just wide. Yeah, Matt just sent it right at the body of Gabe. Uh, that did not work out for Mr. Wright. One, zero, one. speed nowadays in men's doubles is unmatched. One, zero, one. Point. Looking to body up Gabe again was James Ignatowicz. He saw his partner try. He thought he'd give it a crack. Net got in the way, though. Zero one. Point. Step shot for Matt Wright, the 46-year-old lawyer. He still has a full-time job and. Casually making it to championship Sundays. The wise age of 46. Point. Just an absolutely phenomenal start from Deescu and Tardio. Playing a very clean game. Good decision making as well. James just <laughs> flips it up into the body of Tardio. I mean, if you're going to get hit, take it like a champ. 4 0 2. Pressure from Andre Dayescu cross court, every ball to James Ignatowicz. Dayescu playing extremely well, played massive in the semifinals yesterday. And it looks like early on that is carrying over. Just right missed up. from Gabe Tardio, but I like the look and the aggressive court positioning from the youngster. Universe. Oh, I was sorry, Michelle. I was just going to say that I, I really think that Matt Wright and James Ignatowicz need to win a decent amount of points when all four players get to the kitchen because the scramble ability yeah, and the one. defense of Deescu and Tardio, uh, I, I give them a very significant edge in that regard. Point. From Dayescu there, Matt Wright back to serve. University of Michigan tennis, well represented. Kate Fahey clinched a gold medal, her first career one. Women's singles in the one match prior one. to this one. Matt Wright, product of the University of Michigan as well in tennis. Vanderbilt for James Ignatowicz. Second serve. Yeah, Matt Wright just chuckling uh, to himself after that soft miss. As he is not a very aggressive dinker, but he is a very consistent dinker. So I expect that he will clean up that soft stuff as the match moves along. Point. Oh, we got an early challenge here. Referee timeout. We have a challenge of the out call. After review, the out call stands. The ball is out. Loss of challenge results in a lost timeout. One timeout remaining. Two timeouts remaining. We resume play at 252. Gabe's questioning something. Maybe what he saw on the video board, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I'm not sure. I'm not even sure that it Time showed in. up there. So two, I'm not five, sure two. what Gabe was chatting with Howard Hepworth about, but. Perhaps if he wanted a bite of his pizza. <laughs> yeah, he says long. Point. Long tournament for the referees. They're famished. <laughs> <laughs> they need, need some sustenance over there. Got a couple boxes of pizza. 
Put it up the referees. That's a nice <laughs> veteran play from the youngster. You wouldn't expect that from the young buck. Point. This is the first of two meetings between James Ignatowicz and Gabe Tardy. They'll be squaring off in mixed doubles later on today for Four, five, Gold. Two. Great run for Gabe Tardio and Jesse Irvin, who's watching intently from behind the court. Side out. Great counter from Andre Diescu, former tennis pro. Yeah, the, the hands are hot for Andre. Uh, Matt Wright brings a, a lot of Four, five, pace one. of play with his backhand counter and his forehand speed up. He hasn't had a lot of looks at forehand speed ups, but when the firefights have started, Andre has been playing very well. Yeah. Over the middle goes Ignatovic. And we're in US Open territory. Andre Daescu competed in the 2015 US Five, Open four, and also represented Romania in the Davis Cup. It's pro tennis days. Great work from James Adowicz, knowing that the favorite speed up spot from Andre Daescu Four, five, was one. inside out, and James was ready with the forehand counter. Ow, pulled it right Second down third. the line on the body of Matt Wright, who couldn't get out of the way. High and hard. Uh, it is Four, five, two. tournament pickle, and sometimes high and hard is the play. Very nice shot from Andre Daescu. Close, but side it up. Gabe Tardio causes the miss and a side out. A nice reach in from Gabe using that length. Five, four, one. Goes up on one leg and still maintains his balance. Second serve. There's Matt Wright, forehand off the bounce, one of his best weapons, finding the right Five, hip four, of two. Andre. Finesse poke from James Ignatovich lands in. Yeah, he's found a lot of mid-pace success with that backhand flick. He often sends it, uh, you know, with, with full pace. And I just love what I'm seeing from James Ignatovich to vary Four, five, the one. speeds of his attacks. That's long Four. for Diascu. And that's out from the Matt Wright. The first one of the match, <laughs> the first of many for I Matt. Just saying it just loud enough for Andre to hear. We knew to Matt Wright, he's very serve. sassy on court, very <laughs> vocal and very entertaining for us. Uh, agreed. Not five, sure five, going two. against him, but. Yeah, I, I, I have done that and it's uh, <laughs> less fun when you're across the net from him. <laughs> it has to be fun being his partner <laughs> when he's chirping. Yeah, he's one, he's one of those guys, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. where you don't, you don't want to play against him, but you like him as a teammate. <laughs> I, I think that that is a very fair assessment. And there's a lot of players that, that kind of fit that description. I mean, consider the age gap between he Big and five, Gabe two. Tardio. 46 versus 18, that's a 28-year gap. <laughs> He's still here on Sunday. So impressive to me. Side out. Nice inside out again from Andre Daescu. Just jamming up. Ignatowicz, don't Five, let, six, one. want to let James get the arms extended. That's when he has full power on his shots. That is a beautiful backhand roll from the right side from Matt Wright. And both teams showing a lot of respect to the Five, forehand two of Matt Wright and Gabe Tardio playing many, many dinks and not pulling the ball out wide to the right side player. Point. I like that one. Packed house. Six, six, two. 
Salt Palace Convention Center. That's a great adjustment from Gabe Tardio, who is coming in hot, looking for a shake and bake, drive and poach situation. Ball was neutralized by his opponents, and he was able to switch gears from offense to defense. Point, time out, receiver, eight, six, two. Driving. Andre Diascu will force a timeout on the side of James Ignatowicz and Matt Wright. Finals, it was close, tightly contested. Three game battle in the semis for the eight seed to get here. It's been a fun tournament so far. Michelle McMahon, Adam Stone in the booth. Available, but just long on the side of Ignatowicz and Wright. Another point for Dayescu and Tardio. Beautiful combination from James. And I like it when all four players get to the kitchen. If James takes more middle balls with his forehand dink. Uh, Matt has been taking a lot of balls in the middle with his backhand, and I would like to see James stay engaged and take a lot of those shots moving forward. Yeah. Andre Deescu right now off of the bounce with the two-hander. Three, if not four Second times, he has won exchanges against a very good counter-attacking team in Natowich and Wright. Tough bounce off the left cord and serve returns to Nascu and Tardio. Yeah, and it would have been a tough shot, but I, I think James Nine, James one. needs to step in and take that ball on the let cord. Only four losses as a team for Tardio and Diascu. That's impressive. Wow, through the middle with such deception. I mean, for just, Andre. just disgusting. I mean, he, that is the difference in the game. Literally the difference in a 10-6 score line is the offense created off the bounce from Andre Deescu. Game point for the eight seed. And Dave Chardio welcomes the pop-up cookie, eats it up from the kitchen. 11-6, game one on the side of Deescu and Tardio. Tournaments are a fun and exciting way to grow your game, connect with other players, and stay active in the welcoming pickleball community. Whether you're a seasoned player or looking to try your first tournament, we have a place for you. We were in late last <laughs> night till 10 p.m. here at the convention center calling semifinals. It was a wild day of gender doubles. Nice patient point. James finding an opportunity to speed up and then not trying to end the point on the first ball, setting himself up for the second put away. Oh, James hesitated for a second, looking to make a move. And I mentioned a, a slight edge for Ignatowicz and Wright once all four players get to the kitchen. That did not happen in game one. Phenomenal kitchen play from Deescu and Gabe Tardio. Matt and James have to get that kitchen line situated if they want to have a shot here. Right out. Zero, zero, one. Second serve. Nice speed up up the line from Matt Wright. Setting up his partner James for a forehand in the middle. Out. A rare miss from the back of the court from Andre Deescu. Some of the softest hands out here. Yeah, that 
that's a just that's just a great situation for Game Tardio and Andre Deescu when they are up, and James Ignatowicz and Matt Wright are back. They are going to be winning a very, very high percentage of those points. Getting to the kitchen line is huge for James and Matt. Yeah, nice combo there. Started up by Matt Wright and already some quality offense from the kitchen line that we did not see in game one uh, that we're seeing early in game two for Ignatowicz and Wright. 1-0-2. Who's so compact and so precise with his location. Absolutely right. And a two two-handed backhand drive from Matt and a one-handed backhand drive all in the middle of that point. <laughs> Second, Second serve. Uh, another option from the kitchen line, uh, Michelle, haven't seen it yet, is a possible cross-court lob two. from Gabe Tardio over Matt Wright. See if he gets any opportunities to use that. He has a great topspin lob. Side out. But you have to get a ball out wide to your forehand at the kitchen line to have a chance to execute that shot. And as I mentioned previously, one zero one. Abe not getting a lot of looks up at the kitchen with his forehand. has to be a little careful with his frequencies off the bounce now. Fantastic success in game one, but world-class opponents and counter-attackers Ignatowicz and Wright are gonna start to get a beat on those shots. Can't go to it too often. Second serve. 2-0-2. Right out. Nice power forehand up the middle from Andre. Zero two one. Through the middle, firefight one by Andre Diescu on the board in game two. So good on the full stretch from Andre. One, two, one. It's tough to get away from him once that firefight starts. I've said the same thing about his opponent, James Ignatowicz. Point. Yeah, it's, that's a tough situation. That is clearly James' ball, but James is transitioning forward. So they're, they're having an extended convers conversation, our Ignatowicz and Wright, about that specific spot. And I think Matt just has to defer to the big forehand of James. Second serve. Right with a patented light stare down of Andre Teescu after <laughs> that speed up. Andre didn't give him the time of day though. It's probably a good situation for Teescu to just not even give any response to the extracurriculars of Matt Wright. And the overhead from James Ignatowicz. I don't know how Gabe even got that first ball back, but he did, but too much court open on the second, and Ignatowicz found it. 2-2-1. Two, two, second serve. I like that play from Matt, coming forward and punching the backhand. He has such a good one-handed backhand. But Andre's hands holding up in a big way. See again, the scrambling and the mid-court and back of the court work from James Ignatowicz and Matt Wright leaves a little bit to be desired. Must get forward. Wow, 
what a pull Point. by Dayescu down the line on Matt Wright. He did not like that one, Matt Wright. Yeah, that's the second high and hard from Andre. Uh, I think at this point you have to call it a point of emphasis for him and expect him to, to find a few more spots to try the same. Why does Andre keep throwing up his hand on that though, even though it's a, a good ball? Uh, I think it's I think it's just routine. It's just kind of what you do after you hit a non-standard shot high, even though, like I said, he's clearly trying to do that. Right, that's <laughs> so why I keep it, it is. So, like, so I mean, you, you make a move to the middle, uh, you're late getting to the ball and you hit one high as an accident. That's more of an uh, apologize situation, but just a standard speed up from the kitchen line where you go at the shoulder or the throat, that's part of pickleball and I'm fine with not apologizing for that ball. <laughs> no hand up for Matt Wright. That is nasty. <laughs> and, and, and like I said, tournament pickleball. I mean, watch him go. If, if you don't want someone to go high and hard on you, you either one get out of the way, or two wear eye protection because this is this is big time competition here. You can't be, you know, thinking that that is not the proper thing to do. Everything is in play for these guys. That's so good. What a great setup. Game Tardy on the finish. Three, three, two. There's Maddie Dub <laughs> getting a beat on those off the bounce speed ups from Andre. And that was more in a traditional position. Why the high and hard works is Matt's technique allows him to cover his chest and his midsection very well. So you either have to find his feet or go up uh, uh, shoulder level if you want to have su con consistent success. Point. One point lead now on the side of Ignatowicz and Wright. James taking his time to towel off and find the ball. Yeah, he's been taking his time plenty uh, in between points. Five, three, yeah. Just staying at his own rhythm. It's It's all... Uh, very legal gamesmanship to do that. Which <laughs> somehow did not get a point out of that. That was a great serve and great close by Gabe Tardio. Yeah, Gabe. And he was great even on the initial shot. He was even sitting backhand, and Gabe just switches over to the forehand with ease. over from the kitchen again. Yeah, nice work, and I think he, even more impressively was getting to the kitchen after six or seven balls hit by Andre and Gabe. They finally get up there, and once they do, they do damage. Yeah. Yeah. That is a phenomenal play from James Ignatowicz, but defensive chops five, and counterattacks from Andre I'll say it again, have just been on point. Yeah! Second serve. That's, that's a shot that Gabe possesses, but unfortunately hit it directly to the paddle of James Ignatowicz, and it came back much quicker than Gabe hit it. Five, five, two. Yes. Yeah. Nice work from Matt Wright. Solid first volley on the run. He was not established where he wanted to be. And when that happens, five, five, it's, it's tough to make clean contact on the volley, but Matt pulled it off. Yeah. Second serve. Now for Wright and Ignatowicz. Five, five, two. I 
nice deep serve. Oh, fumble the third, though. That came all the way over in front of James to hit a forehand. That was a little interesting. The serve, very yeah. good, though, like, right. like you said, Michelle. Second serve. Just wide on the two-handed backhand speed up. Andre throws his head up. Five, five, two. Point. Oh, moments ago, Matt Wright making a quality first volley on the run. This time, error. Six, five, two. Sneaky Point. dink from Gabe Tardio. Feathery touch inside out. Yep. James Iganowicz didn't know that was coming. Yeah, very slippery. And also an impressive part of that shot for Gabe Tardio was the fact that he did not allow James to get it around the post in game two. That's great step over from James Ignatowicz. Partner protection. Andre looking to catch. Matt Wright transitioning from Five, back seven, left one. to front right. Again, unwinding the stack. James says no, no. Second serve. Fortunately follows it up with a third shot error in the tape. Five, seven, two. Right out. Showing some real frustration after an empty possession. Missed third Seven, shot from Ignatowicz and a neutral soft error from Matt Wright. Yeah. Andre Daescu on fire. I would not have guessed. Actually, I would have put him fourth of four in terms of offense from the kitchen line in this particular matchup, and he is proving me very wrong. Second serve. That's backhand punch from Matt Wright, and it is a dire situation for Ignatowicz and Wright. They must put some points on the board. Can't get down 2-0 in these three out of fives. Point. It's back. It's a miss to take. Point. Descu and Tardio. Nine five two. Point. That's been a nice pattern. Game point. Unwinding the stack. Big issues. Game, five, Game point here to take a two zero lead. Right out. <laughs> Collision between Matt Wright and James Ignatowicz Five, ten, up one. at the kitchen line, but they dug out of it. Yeah. Oh, great punch backhand from Matt Wright, moving forward from the transition zone. Six, ten, one. Such quality complimentary pickleball right now from Dascu and Tardio. I know Tardio's not getting a lot of looks on the forehand, but he is playing a very controlled, solid style right now. Ooh, Miss JTP didn't right come up enough for James Ignatowicz. Game point. Game point back on the side of Diascu and Tardio. 
Ten six one. Foot goal. Left foot. Point game. Timeout changes. Well, Fault called on Ignatovich and right. Tough way to go down in game number two. This when the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it. Challenging every limit, turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you. It's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. The performance so far from Andre Diascu and Gabe Tardio. A near flawless play right now from the eight Here's seeds. Point. And that's, that's what it's gonna take. Get to the kitchen for the boys in black and then find some offense once you get there. Really have not been able to consistently do either so far. Tardio with the finish, beautiful setup cross court by Andre Diascu. Yeah, and they're uh, Ignatowicz and Ryder already in this game, Zero, one, one. hitting several balls over to the forehand of Gabe Tardio. So maybe they're looking to not avoid that spot like they were earlier. Nice, Gabe Tardio with a, some sass at the end of that one. My goodness. And so, I mean, they're, they're, they're not one, missing, one, one. and they're winning the hands battles. I mean, that is, talk about a recipe for success. Yeah, so uh, a clear change in the patterns at the kitchen line uh, from Wright and Ignatowicz. See if that continues. See if uh, one, one, Gabe can possibly give them some errors or some forced offense. Point for Ignatovic. Point for Tarnio and Diascu. Two, one, two. Seems like he's in a situation, James, to try and do too much because of the way Tarnio and Diascu are playing. It's going to get eaten up every time. Yeah, exactly right, Michelle. So the, you kind of, especially after a very comfortable 11 6, 11 6 uh, in games one and two, sometimes three, one, you do. Two go out of your comfort zone to try to force something. Shot drive from Diascu. Inspires a hands battle for Gabe Tardio to clean up. 4-1. 4 one, four one, four one three. Eight seat. Four, one two. Another third one, shot drive through the middle for Diascu. Why is that working? I mean, just. Still a lot of game left. from Matt into the tape, but I, I like the decision to not unwind the stack. Matt ha, has played a ton of pickleball one, over two. on the left side, and, and James also uh, has played a bit on the right. A nice spot from James on that last ball to go with more spin than pace. It's been giving Ignatowicz and Wright so much trouble unwinding the stack. Uh, I, I like that adjustment. and. Can't just keep doing the same thing and hope for different results. Second serve. But 0 for 2 on left side speed ups from Matt Wright. One, six, two. Since they made the switch. Side out. And empty possession. 6 1 1.
Nice swatter across court on the forehand from Matt. And Matt Wright has not Six, been one, able to get in that happy place where he's chirping and barking and, and kind of letting the emotions fly. Goes Andre Diascu, perfect point, and that is deflating yeah. for Ignatowicz and Wright. It is. I mean, really nice uh, footwork and court coverage on the left side from Matt Wright at the kitchen line, but Diascu and Tardio just Seven stick to two. what they do. Solid, soft stuff and waited for a pop-up, and they got it. Foot foot. Oh, no, and a foot fault to rub salt in the wound. Eight. One lead in game three. They're three Eight, points one, away from securing gold. Tarnio and Diascu. Flat out. After review, the out call stands. The ball was out. Loss of challenge, loss of timeout. One timeout remaining. One timeout remaining. We will resume play at 181, serving here. Time in. 181. What else can you do here at Natowich and Wright? One, eight, two. Let reserve. One, eight, two. Side out. Eight, one, one. <laughs> oh, full extension with the Flamingo. He goes to one leg and just drops it up the middle. That just really sums up the match for Andre Deescu. Oh, my. <laughs> and Gabe follows it up with a little half Ernie backhand flip up the middle. What forward movement. From the bulletproof Bolivian. <laughs> Match point for Diascu and Tardio. Wow, a lob on match point. A three game throttle for Gabe Tardio and Andre Diascu. They capture their second gold medals each of the year, the first as teammates together. What a moment for these two. Thanks so much, Adam. Yeah, how do you explain the dominance we just saw against a stellar men's doubles team, Gabe Tardio, as you earn your second gold of the season, sir? Yeah, no, I think uh, we played super well, super solid. Uh, me and Andre have been in two finals before, couldn't quite get it, so, you know, super happy that this time we are coming out with the gold, so yeah. Playing off that answer, Andre, you guys have come so close. I know you got a gold already this year with somebody else, but what's the significance of this gold medal, winning it alongside Gabe Tardio with all the work he put in this season? Oh, it means a lot to me, uh, winning one with Gabe. Obviously, we, you know, we started playing together at the start of the season. We went through the ups and downs like everybody else. Uh, like he said, we lost two finals, so we went through the downs first, and could have been more excited to win it with this guy. He's, uh, he's playing so solid right now, and he's in the finals of the mix as well, so just Happy to tag along for the ride. I, I think I played my best today, actually. Uh, so happy to be playing good pickleball. And uh, yeah, just want to thank my support staff, you know, uh, my wife, my coach, the Proton family, Leo River, and everybody else who's been along with me uh, through this journey. Super, super excited to get gold with Tardio. Lastly, Gabe, where's the pizza? It's Championship Sunday. You just got gold. That's what, I, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> I, I literally come out to Hayden and I'd say, bro, I need my pizza. I need some extra energy. There's come on. <laughs> there were three boxes on the bench. I saw it. We'll get this guy some pizza before his mixed doubles appearance. He was having, skitt he was having uh, skittles in the changeover. This guy's just a 
It's something else. Oh, to be 18 again. Well, without further ado, let's welcome in our title sponsor for this great event. Uh, the Pickler, Austin Wood, co-founder with George Berrigan, is here to deliver the hardware. Utah, how we doing? Do we love our pickleball? Let's go. Congrats to Tardio and congrats to Andre, the giant killer and the brace, brace face assassin. <laughs> what a moment and a well-earned accomplishment. First title together as a men's doubles team. We'll be right back. Women's doubles coming your way next. It's going to be a good one. Stay with us.